colors are red, violets are blue. When the zoo calls your man, he better pick you. It's the War of the Roses on C104. All right, you're in this quick reminder. You can hear all your favorite old War of the Roses and dirty works and phone scams all that on the Odyssey app for free. So make sure you get it on your phone uh, as we welcome Nicole to the show. Hello, Nicole. Hi. So I love the subject of the email you sent for Where the Roses. It said, want to help me settle a bet. So tell everybody who we're putting to the test for today. We are putting Crystal to the test. Right. And Crystal used to be your roommate, right? Yeah, like years ago. She was like my best friend and my roommate and stuff. But not anymore. Well, no. Okay. So explain why we're putting Crystal to the test. So I recently had a breakup with my boyfriend, Keith, and... We actually just got back together. So, you know, things have been kind of crazy. But, you know, I feel like everything's sort of starting to settle down. You know, I'm happy that we worked it out. And I'm happy that we're back together. But then I kind of heard from, and I think this person is pretty reliable, that while we were broken up, he and Crystal used that opportunity to hook up with each other. Ugh, yikes. And in this case, when you say hook up, you don't mean slow dancing, walking hand in hand on the beach. No, I mean she slept with him. Okay. And technically, you guys were broken up, you said, correct? Yes, technically, but you got to understand, we only broke up for like a week. Okay, so the fish guts were barely in the water before the sharks started attacking then. Yeah, basically. And I didn't really know about any of this when I decided to take Keith back. And if I had known about it, I I would have told him to forget it. Okay. Now, at this point, are you and Keith still together? Well, yeah, because I still don't know if this is all just a big rumor or if it's actually true. Okay. And when I emailed you and I said, you know, maybe we should put Keith to the test, you made a good point. You said he probably would just end up picking you. Yeah. I Like, I'm sure that he would pick me. We just got back together. Like, if he picks me, we still don't really know anything. Right. So instead, you want us to put Crystal to the test to see who she chooses. Yeah. Do you think she would honestly choose Keith? I mean, knowing that the two of you are back together? Well, here's the thing. Uh, She doesn't know that yet. Ah, I see. Okay. So if she doesn't know, let's see what she decides to do then with her free pantygram. This is is interesting. (laughs) Okay, so we'll call up Crystal, tell her she won a free pantygram, see who she chooses to send it to and what she puts on the card, okay? Perfect. Okay, and before we get started, you're okay with us putting all this on the air, correct? Yep. Starling at random. Hello. Hi, I'm trying to reach a Crystal, please. This is Crystal. Who's this? Hi, Crystal. My name is Tracy, and I'm calling from the Victoria's Secret Promotions Department. How are you doing? Oh, I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So the reason I was calling is because I wasn't sure if you saw the email we sent you, or maybe it went to, you know, your spam folder. But we just started a new holiday promotion this year where we draw names of customers from our database, and we give those people a little thank you prize. And this month... You were chosen as one of our winners, so congrats. Wow, for real. Okay, I won something. (laughs) You sure did. (laughs) So do you have a few minutes for me to tell you about your prize? Yeah, of course. Okay, so the prize is called the VS Pantygram. It's like a telegram that we send to that special someone in your life, but instead of a boring old telegram, it's in a little box with real lace panties inside with a note from you. So let's say you want to send, you know, like a sexy message to your boyfriend. He opens a box. There's real panties inside and a note from you that says, guess who? Or I have a surprise for you this weekend. You know, stuff like that. Okay. So it's kind of like, it's like a a little sexy Christmas gift. Exactly. (laughs) Okay. And so, and when does it arrive? Not until Christmas time? No, you can pick when you want to send it. And the best part, it's all free. Okay. That's awesome. (laughs) So you want to give it a try? Uh, Yeah, for sure. Okay, so we need to get a little more info from you. The first thing I need to know is what color panties you want to send. We have pink, red, black. Um, I don't know. I just red for Christmas, right? Yeah, sure. That's fine. Now, who okay. would you like us to send your pantygram to? I need a first and last name. Uh, okay. Um, let me think about this. Um, oh, okay. Okay, so send it to, to Dante. That's um, D-A-N-T-E, and the last name is 
Okay, I'm going to get that address from you in just a second. First, let me put you on hold for real quick so I can fill this out, okay? Yeah, perfect. No problem. Okay, so Nicole, looks like she chose somebody else. Do you have any idea who this other guy is? No. Okay, well, at least she didn't say, you know, I picked Keith. I mean, does that make you feel a little bit better now? Uh, not really. I mean, I still think they hooked up and he lied to me about it. Okay. Um, hang on one second, Nicole, and don't say anything. Like, I'm about to pick her back up, and we don't normally do this, but hang on. Stay quiet, because I'm going to keep you on the line, too. Okay? Hang, hang on. Here we go. Hey, Crystal? Hello? Hi. Listen, um, I'm going to be completely honest with you for a quick second here. This isn't really Victoria's Secret. This is actually the Z Morning Zoo radio show on Z104. Oh, snap! Um, Right now okay. you're, yeah. Right now you're being set up on War of the Roses. It, this is a thing where we, we, one person puts another person to the test to see who they would choose to send a gift to. So the person who set you up is on hold right now, and it's not the person you chose. I forget who you said, but you wanted to. Who did you want to send your pantygram to? It's Dante. Dante, yeah. So the person who asked us to put you to the test is named Keith. I guess Keith thought you were going to pick him. Okay. Yeah. So before we put him on, did you want to change your answer at all? I mean, at this point, he still knows nothing. Oh, I, um, sure. That's fine, I guess. Well, who is Keith? I mean, is he, is he your boyfriend or something? No, no, he's not. He's a friend. We, we we had a little thing for a while when he was going through a breakup, but he's just a friend. I see. So you, you were like his shoulder to cry on then or... Yeah, it, it was something like that. He, he was actually dating my ex-roommate, and then they broke up. And then he texted me, and he, he was telling me all this stuff about how he always wished he could get with me instead. And he, anyway, we ended up having, like, a little thing for a minute, but um, I didn't think he was, like, in love or anything right. like that. Okay. Got you. Let, let yeah. me see if we can fix this for you, okay? Yeah, well, actually, I really don't want to be on the like the radio or anything, so if this isn't real, then I'm going to hang up. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm sorry it didn't work out. No, it's, it's no problem. Um, it's no problem. Okay, 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 yeah, thanks anyways then. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> here's another one you could chalk up to. My gut was telling me, Nicole, you were right. I f***ing knew it. I f***ing knew it that liar which, which, which one crystal or keith both of them yeah so i mean what now are you gonna end up staying with keith or not well i'm gonna just ask him straight up tonight tell me the truth if he does then we can talk about it i mean i guess we were broken up when it happened but if he lies to me about it then we are absolutely done for good 